Hello and welcome to our video today on multiplication. Today we're going to look at being able to multiply using a written method. And we're going to look at three different methods of multiplication today. Um, so, to start with, we're going to look at the column method. Now, the column method is the one that's most commonly used and some people find this really useful. So I'm going to go through how you would multiply using a column method. We're going to multiply 34 by 29. So we set our numbers out in a column, making sure our tens and units are in line. So we've got 34 times 29. Now, on the first line, we're going to work out what 34 is by 9. We're going to multiply 34 by 9. So to do this, we start by going 9 times 4 is 36. So I put a 6 in the units column and I'm carrying over 3 into the tens column. And then it'd be 9 times 3, which is 27. And don't forget to add the 3. So that will be 30. Then on the second line down, I'm going to do 34 times by 20. Because 20 is a multiple of 10, I'll put a zero down in my units column, and then I'm going to do two times 34, or 34 times by two. So we'll, to do that, we do exactly what we've done with the nine. We'll do two times four, which is eight, and two times three, which is six. Don't forget, because it's a multiple of 10, you need the unit as zero in that case. And then we just add up our columns. Six and nothing is six. Nothing and eight is eight. And three and six is nine. So the answer to our question there, 34 times by 29 is 986. But what about another method? We're gonna use a grid method next. Some people find this useful as well. We're going to multiply the same numbers. So we're going to do exactly the same question, multiplying 34 by 29. And I start off with a grid, multiplication grid. And I'm going to split my 34 into 30 and four, and the 29 into 20 and nine. So I'll split it up like that. And then I'll start in the first box here by doing 20 times 30. Now, because I've got two zeros in my uh, question, in my multiplication, I'm going to put those in the answers. So then I would just do two times three and I end up with 600. Two zeros coming from the 30 and the 20 and then two times three. And next we look at this 20 times four is 80. Again, we've got a multiple of 10. So zero down, two times four, 80. And exactly the same with this bit, nine times three, 27, and we've got a zero there, so that'd be 270. And then we'll work out nine times four, which is 36. Now we've got these numbers in here, we are just going to add them all together by a column method. So we'll do nothing, 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 and six, six, seven, and eight is 15 and three more makes 18. So I've got eight in the tens column, carrying one over into the hundreds column. Don't forget to add this in. I've got one and six and two, which makes nine. So my answer is the same as with the other method is 986. Some people find that method difficult at times because you've got to deal with multiples of 10. I'm going to show you another method, which is called the lattice method. And again, we're going to use the same example, 34 times by 29. And we start off with a grid, but this time we split the grid diagonally. And instead of putting um, multiples of 10 in, we are just going to split the numbers 34 and 29. And then what we do is we start by multiplying just as a multiplication grid. So we've got four times two is eight, but we've got to remember to put a zero and an eight. So we need to fill in both parts of the, the, the rectangle, zero and eight. And then four times nine 
36. 3 times 9, 27. And 3 times 2. And again, I've got to remember 0, 6. So both of these need filling in. And then we've got our answers in there. Now, what we do next is important. We're going to add up diagonally. So in this diagonal, we have got six. In this diagonal here, we've got eight, three and seven, which make 18. So I'll put eight down here and I'm carrying one over into the next diagonal. So in this diagonal, I have got six, two, and one which make nine and in this one I've got zero so I don't need to bother with that and I come out with my answer exactly the same as the rest 34 times 29 is 986 I hope you find that helpful now uh, complete the um, work that is set on the next few pages um, using whichever one of these three methods you feel most comfortable using and works for you. Thank you for watching.